And we begin tonight with your wintry forecast. Some areas are seeing snow while others are experiencing rain and sleet. You can see the conditions in Campbell County earlier today. Now most is melting off the roads, but icy conditions are possible, especially on those back roads. Several schools are canceling or delaying classes tomorrow. Anderson, Cumberland, Loudoun and Monroe counties are all closed tomorrow. Blunt, Cock, Jefferson, Scott and Sevier counties are all delayed two hours. You can see a full list of closures and delays at the bottom of your screen and on the WBIR app. And we do have a team of coverage tonight tracking the wintry weather. Our team of meteorologists are tracking the forecast and we're live with the latest conditions in the mountains. We're going to begin with Cassie Knoll on the weather porch. Uh, snow has tapered out a bit here at Channel 10. Ooh. But it is cold. Oh my goodness gracious. We still got some snowflakes coming down out here in North Knoxville. Temperature sitting uh, right at about 30 degrees right now on our thermometer. And take a look at this beautiful view from our Parkway camera. A little bit earlier, they weren't seeing the snow. They were kind of seeing a rain sleep mix. And in the just in the last half hour, that snow really picked up. And now you can see that coating on uh, the, uh, the median in the middle of the road and on the sides on the grass and the uh, plants there. We'll head out to Amelia live in that area in just a minute to kind of get a look at what's going on there. Other parts of our viewing area have seen up to three inches of snow in Pleasant Hill in Cumberland County and in Maynardville in Union County, Andersonville in Anderson County, just over two and three quarters of an inch, two and a half inches in the Crossville area and Tazewell in Claiborne County has seen about two and a half inches of snow as well. And it's in those areas that we're concerned about seeing some of those slick spots as early today we had reports of the roads being covered. Well, let's go over to Todd Howell now for a check on what we have in store for the rest of this evening and what you can expect for your Wednesday morning commute. Absolutely. Hey, Cassie Nall, thank you so much. Appreciate those updated uh, snowfall reports and your hard work today. Indeed, it's been a beautiful wintry scene. Thankfully, most of the main roads OK, but there are those back roads, secondary roads that could still be icy and slick as we go overnight and early in the morning. Well, let's bring you up to date. Hope you're having a great evening. Yeah, it is a kind of a beautiful wintry scene across East Tennessee, and we'll show you some more live camera views coming up in just a moment. Here's what we're seeing. The back edge of the snow showers kind of working its way across the Cumberland Plateau and will continue to uh, move into the valley over the next one to two hours. So as we work away between right now and just after midnight, most of those snow showers will start to taper, starting to see the snow tapering mainly to the northern areas across the Tennessee Kentucky state line. And we're still seeing some of those scattered snow showers, including Knoxville back toward Wartburg and also Rockwood and Spring City. Still seeing a little bit of enhancement here coming off the plateau again. Jamestown to Williamsburg uh, starting to see a break up La Follette, Maynardville and Tazewell. And as Cassie just showed you, there's been some two and three inch amounts across northern areas. Well, the snow will start to taper as we go late tonight after midnight, but cold temperatures in the 20s in the morning. It could have some slick and icy spots early, especially bridges and overpasses. We'll look ahead to your Wednesday and extended forecast, extended forecast excuse me, coming up next. Back to you, Beth. All right, Todd. Hey, we want to update everyone. We're hearing from Knox County Schools. They will operate on a two hour delay tomorrow. Again, Knox County Schools will operate on a two hour delay. Uh, buses and the central office will also operate two hours late. Meanwhile, we want to go to Amelia Young, who is joining us from Sevier County. She's been monitoring conditions there all evening. Looks like the snow picking up. We can see the heavy flakes falling. Yeah, Beth, well, there has been a steady snowfall here in Sevier County. We are in Pigeon Forge right now, and over the past couple hours, the snow has continued to fall. Some flakes every once in a while will be those really big fluffy flakes falling from the sky, creating a really, really pretty winter wonderland here. But so far, if you can see behind me, a lot of this snow is not sticking to the roads like we're seeing in other places, but it is starting to stick and starting to accumulate on the grass and on top of people's cars here. Um, but the parkway is clear of snow. It's just very wet and slick. And if you're going to be traveling through Sevier County, especially towards Gatlinburg tonight or or later this evening, the mountains just and the mountains just make sure to use a lot of caution there. Um, as we learned earlier, newfound Gap Road is closed. Of course, this snow is going to be continuing overnight. And if you've got to get out on the roads, just make sure to use a lot of caution and dress in a lot of layers like we've been doing all night. Back to you, Beth. All right, thanks so much, Amelia. Again, with conditions in Sevier County. Well, drivers may have noticed major roads were not treated for snow. TDOT says that's because of the rain. Crews say there's not much point to treating roads when it rains just ahead of the snow. 
if we had dry conditions, we would get out there, pre-treat with brine, uh, hopefully form a layer so that you don't get freezing conditions on the roadways. Unfortunately, when you get that rain right before you get some possible uh, ice, sleet, snow, whatever it may be, uh, those materials would just wash off the roadway because of the rain. Now, TDOT says crews will be working overnight to treat the roads. The department says it's important to leave extra room to break in your morning commute because some ice could develop overnight. And you can find road and traffic conditions around the clock in the 10 News app. You can also find weather updates, live reports, and share your weather pictures. You can also post those online with the hashtag SnowBIR.